Today I am going to talk about the importance of festivals in India. Festivals in India are a remedial measure by itself. Now this is the greatness of the saints. These remedial measures are based on time. Time the zodiac moves every day, the zodiac moves every year and every year different months comes up and there are different festivals which are being kept across. Now why is this festival kept across is because in itself is a remedial measure. For example, you take Ganesh Chaturthi. Ganesh Chaturthi is the activation of the basic chakra and activation of the Karya Siddhi. Now many people have a problem with Karya Siddhi. They are unable to complete things. They start things, they are unable to complete. They have a lot of problem in pursuing a thing, completing a thing. They take a project, they are unable to follow it through. What they think and plan does not happen. For example, I met a lady who had problems with the Karya Siddhi. I asked her to light lamp for Ganesh. Ganesh is the a god for the earth element, for the Muladhara Chakra. She was able to fulfill a lot of problem as far as the Karya Siddhi is concerned. She was able to pick up the timing, the intuitive flow of things and was able to fulfill it very very easily across. So this is the use of Ganesh Chaturthi. The other one is that of Mahalakshmi Puja which is being kept across. Mahalakshmi has been one of the goddess of wealth. Now I know many people who do Mahalakshmi Puja on Friday. Generally their house and life is very very prosperous across. They don't have major problem as far as their life is concerned. Now in that particular sense, if you are going to do the Mahalakshmi when the sun transits the particular time, that is when sun transits the Simha in the Pura Nakshatra, you are supposed to have the Mahalakshmi Jayanti. You will have a lot of growth, a lot of success, lot of free, you will be free of many problems across into your life. So that is the power of the Mahalakshmi. Now the ancestral worship, there are many ancestors who die with a lot of feeling, with a lot of desire, with a lot of wants. Now this particular Pitru Paksh is specifically to make them happy, to please them and to go into another realm. For example, one of my uncle told me that my brother was having an issue because we were not doing the proper tarpana for the elders. When we did not do proper tarpana for the elders, people have generally mood swing, people have generally a very very disturbed family life and people have problem in the conception of the baby and getting married across. Now here we do Tilahumam and whenever we do Tilahumam we have seen a lot of people having a lot of growth into their life. They are able to get their children married, they are able to get their uh, sun conception happens like that the entire thing grows into another level altogether. So the ancestral karma lineage is there and the lineage karma is cleared during the Pitru Paksh. Now for example there is a All Souls Day in Christianity and there is some kind of a Pitru worship even in Islam. So that is the basic thing across and for winning over the enemies you have the Kartikeya Puja which really is actually during the month of Kartika it is the uh, it is done to uh, to win over the enemies people have obstruction problem difficulties across and the Vaikuntha Ekadesi is making a soul spiritual is helps the people to grow these days Mahashivratri is also celebrated across like that there are Krishna Jayanti is specifically celebrated for Vamsa Vriddhi. 
now many people want to have a male child many people want to have an intelligent child many people want to have children who are supposed to be very successful and happy now the, all these things can be achieved now if you do the krishna jayanti puja and my whole life changed after i started doing the navratri puja in the navratri there were initially i found very lot of rich people very successful people successful brahmin families having a huge navratri pandal they try to make their entire house into a uh, dolls across it is the tridevi festival across and in south india it is celebrated as durga uh, lakshmi and saraswati in north india it is celebrated as lakshmi uh, sorry saraswati lakshmi and durga it is the durgashtami which is celebrated across but basically now the navratri is the festival of the earth element it is celebration of the femininity and there are four navratri which comes up the gupta navratri comes in the mithuna masa june 15 to july 15th and october 15 to september 15 the proper navratri happens and the uh, the dhanur masa navratri is between january 15 to december 15th and the other navratri is between vasanta navratri is between march 15 to april 15th across all these are when the sun enters into the uh, into the corners of the house across and it is the sun enters into the kanya masa you have the navratri kanya means uh, sanskrit feminine month so all these things are kept across you have the vastu purusha nal the vastu purusha day is kept across so that you can do the particular festivals across on that particular day and the guru purnima is kept for the worships of the gurus which is a unique festival to india across it is between august 15 to september 15th the the guru purnima the ashada purnima is being kept across and four months the chatur masa vrata is being kept by the monks so please understand that all these things are kept with a purpose to clear the karma to clear the lineage karma personal karma if you do celebrate your festivals itself that itself is a remedial measure across so please understand that you need to celebrate the festival across of course celebrating gandhi jayanti nehru jayanti or other jayantis okay diwali is the festival of the festival of the light when the sun and enters into the deepest uh, uh, debilitation point the navratri is celebrated and of course the buddhist celebrate the vesak festival the in the taurus month when the sun and the moon goes into the opposite it is a full moon day it's a vesak festival across so all these things are aligned zodiacally all is done with the equinox when the uttrayana and the dakshinayana part there is ratha saptami across which is the turning of the sun and normally when you do ritual during that particular point of time it has a tremendous positive impact into a person's life across so please understand that these things have a major impact into a person's life and people who miss out the festival who do not celebrate the festival have a problem and the new year comes about exactly between april 15th and the swara is checked for 3 days across this way and that way and that is one of the very important indicators of how the new year is going to be across so new year is celebrated for the keralites the new year is celebrated when the sun enters into the sun simarasi and it is supposed to be the great bali chakravarti which is the makras but that's different the point is these are kept these are nodal points of time these are acupuncture point of time and it has a major impact into a person's life across so please understand and celebrate the festival now don't try to say that festivals are not important festivals are just ritual no these are things which will help you to have artha kama moksha dharma very easily especially artha and the kama and uh, for example the putin actually he invaded during the ashtami ashtami is celebrated for bhairav and for narsimha and it actually makes a 
lot of difference by giving Bali on that particular day across. So please understand the festivals are kept across to clear the karma, to clear the blockages in the horoscope and to evolve the life across. So please understand and uh, try to use these festivals to grow across and to have a better time into your life across. So that will make a huge difference into your life across. You will have prosperity, you will have growth, you will have shat sampad and this is one of the main reason across. Thank you so much. <laughs>